Hi, it's Olivia, and today I am talking about some news that I've been holding in for a long time. It's fun news, um, and just kind of talking about it real quick. I don't think this will take very long, but I, you guys know I like to do art and defacing, and a little while ago I defaced Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi, so this is, oh, um, did the back design and then also some work on the sprayed edges, and I had the opportunity to show this to her and meet her last year? Yes, last year at Y'all West, and I love her. I loved her reaction to it. Like I'll, I'll always remember that. I have video of her um, initial reaction. Also, just meeting her. I love her energy and her vibe. Like it was a great experience. Okay, it was a great experience. If you want to, I'll insert the the clip of that initial meeting now. But if you've already seen it, because I think I've shown it before, you can skip over it. I hope you got that on tape. So fast forward to today and she has the sequel coming out to this book called Children of Virtue and Vengeance and it comes out on December 3rd along with a Barnes & Noble exclusive journal which I was hired to design um, which is basically this design except um, it kind of made to fit the format of the journal because it, it goes from the cover to the to the back it's like a full kind of it's almost a full mandala and it's beautiful and it brings me such joy to know that I was able to get this opportunity and she announced this yesterday on social media and the, re the response has been like overwhelming in a great way but overwhelming because it's just it's just so it's so cool it's so cool I'm so glad to share it. I'd never seen it in a non-digital format until she kind of showed it in her hands in her in her videos and just wow some people have said that they looked at that like at her posts and before they even read the caption they knew that the cover art was mine and that is this means so much to me because I think everyone has their own little inner critics right and their own doubts and whatever and my kind of artist critic is I always feel like um, the type of art that I do I always worry that it doesn't look like original or unique enough that's always like a lingering doubt because that kind of art I feel like is very easily self-taught and if you look just look up on Instagram there's so many people who are who do amazing things with that kind of style of art the same style that I do and so sometimes it's really easy to to let it seep into my brain that like you know what I do is not really that innovative or creative um, but to see that people looked at this and they immediately associated it with me was just like surreal absolutely surreal I feel like I learned a lot like figuring out what they needed and you know even just the process of the initial sketch to the final product uh, the product and it was just is very insightful and eye-opening for me personally because as with it being my first experience it makes me think it, it gives me some confidence you know like hey this could be something I can go into um, but that's pretty much what I want to share also coincidentally before I started filming this I opened up something in the mail and it's the Forgotten Girl by India Brown I am just so happy for booktube lately like there's been so many big things that I've seen a lot of booktubers do and it just fills me with joy, but especially India. I've been following her social media for the past few, uh, I, I've been following her for a while, but specifically as she's been going to various schools and whatnot, this is a middle grade kind of spooky read, um, and she's been going to schools, and this is a, I, I see it in pictures on the shelves at the Scholastic Book Fairs, and I'm just like, this is so huge and I'm so proud and I've just been so excited to read this because if you read the plot it sounds amazing also the the beautiful letter that she sent with it um, just it is also the day before Halloween and like I said it's a middle grade and it's like this looks like a very quick read uh, and I hear it's spooky and quite honestly I might just finish this like tonight or tomorrow um, I haven't read I haven't read anything I think since like early September I've been the, the past few weeks have been there have been many days that have been better than others and all I can say is that today in this moment looking at this seeing the pictures of the journal seeing booktube doing cool things 
I'm happy. Like, I'm so content with, like, our online community and, and the book world. It's very cool. Uh, in the comments, feel free to share something that, like, some good news that you've gotten or just something good from today. I love YouTube comments. It's been, I, I haven't been posting as much as I want to because I'm having a lot of technical difficulties. But, um, yeah, please, I don't know what I was saying. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in another video.